name is Chuck Stungle and I live in Beaverdam, Wisconsin. And I'm known around our city as the man with the shoes. Um, what kind of shoes you might ask? Uh, Chuck Taylor uh, Converse All-Stars. Um, I only wear high tops, they do make low tops, but my collection is all high tops. My collecting started back in 1996 and this is the pair that started it all. Um, the Converse All-Star. Um, the, I wear them, uh, I still wear them. As you can see, there's uh, pink flamingos and palm trees on them, and uh, they hold a special spot because this is the pair that started it all. I am known around town as the guy with the Converse. Uh, I can't go anywhere around our city without having Converse on. Um, I live really close to the Quick Trip in town, and I walked over there one night just to get a half a gallon of milk. Uh, and a person, I wore my flip-flops, and uh, the guy looked at my shoes and he goes, um, aren't you supposed to be wearing Converse? <laughs> and it's like, so that started a thing where whenever I leave home, I always make sure that I have Converse. In fact, <laughs> there was one other time that I was standing in my garage loading my car to leave for a weekend, and again, I was wearing my, my Crocs, and a guy was walking, his dog, by and he goes he stopped and he goes um where are your converse another pair that uh hold dear to me are the, these are the shoes that my uh, my daughter caitlin designed for me when she got married um you can go to on the internet to uh, converse.com and you can choose from colors and design whatever you want and uh, I'm the, probably one of the only guys that has ever gone into David's bridal and asked for a swatch because um, I needed to match their bridesmaids' dresses. So I got the swatch uh, for the, for, to match the dresses and then Caitlin designed the shoes. So on the inside she found X's and O's, so hugs and kisses. So I walked uh, my daughter Kate down the aisle uh, when she got married and I wear these shoes uh, every year on May 21st because that's her uh, anniversary day. Um, I am a retired school teacher. Um, I taught high school special ed for uh, 19 years, and then I taught uh, elementary physical education for seven years, and the kids at school knew that the uh, shoes and the shirt usually matched. So, and it really got to be fun because the kids would say, Mr. Stungle, do you think you can wear the uh, cat in the hat ones tomorrow? Or can, how about Superman? And uh, there was one year, the first day of school, I wore this pair. And uh, the, kinder, the kindergartners were always so much fun. And the mother of one of my students shared with me that uh, her son came home after the first day of school and asked, she was asking him, how did your day at school go? And uh, her son answered, I don't know, mom. Um, the Fayette teachers wear, or the Fayette teacher wears uh, cheeseburgers on his feet. So I had uh, Converse came out with uh, food several years ago, and they came out with uh, pepperoni pizza, donuts, and cheeseburgers. So um, <laughs> that really made it. Um, the the other special pair that I have, um, when I retired from teaching, the uh, art teacher uh, had every one of the students at Washington School uh, put their fingerprint on a pair of shoes and then they wrote on it, uh, you have left a mark on, on all of our souls. And it's really kind of fun because of the kids um, look and go, he's wearing the shoes, he's wearing the shoes, he's got the shoes on. So that, that's really cool and um, the, the kids in Washington always hold a special spot in my heart. Um, as I said before, I have a very understanding wife um, she would always uh, chuckle in the morning because when I'd be getting dressed, um, I'd have the shirt on. So of course, um, I'd have to find the perfect shoes. So I'm on my hands and knees in my closet, looking through the, the boxes to pick out the shoes that'll match the, the shirt. Uh, it's really kind of cool because it's a, a conversation starter wherever, uh, wherever you go. And it's really kind of fun because um, being out in the community, the kids will go, Mr. Stungle, um, we're in Converse just like you are. So I need to, uh, in a way, apologize to some of the parents because it's probably me that made you, uh, and when your, your child asks for a pair of Converse, I'm the one that you can uh, thank for their, uh, for their taste in shoes. 
Um, it's Converse, it, it's been so much fun. Uh, I enjoy it and I wouldn't mind being the unofficial spokesman for Converse sometime. So.